Hello everyone, this is Ray Space, and welcome to the third video in my Mars mission testing in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. The events that you're about to see were conducted during a Twitch live stream, and the audio will be from that live stream instead. I'm just doing a little bit of an intro. And what we have here is the mothership that is going to rendezvous with the lander that has landed on Mars and risen again after replenishing its fuel and we have to do a lot of ion engine burns in order to make that rendezvous happen and that is where we are picking things up. Really hope the lander has some fuel left when we get there. We have 300 meters per second left to do. We're trying to get to our lander which is just sort of hanging out. Eight days. Well, we should get there in eight days, that's for sure. It's just a matter of how much fuel it has to just hold steady while we dock to it. Hopefully it can dock to us, that'd be best. If ions, there's no avoiding the fact that we're going to have to very much get really, really close. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do anything drastic. Our orbits must be very close before we actually get to it. We're already closing in on it pretty slowly here. Check on the food. Eight days. That's in the lander, of course. Here we have plenty. Well, that'll have to do. Let's hope we're going slow enough when we get there. Okay, well, let's see if the lander has some to help out. It's all boiled off. It's like every little bit of methane, oxygen, and hydrogen is boiled off. How does that happen? Okay, it's probably advisable for me to take that closer approach distance. Alright, well I'm gonna just let it spin for a bit. Well, nothing for it. We have to use what RCS we need to use. Okay, we've connected. Let's just get the RCS off before it misuses it. And let's transfer our crew. Okay. And that thing is totally derelict now. So, now, where's our attack life support? Gonna move stuff over, but I think we're all right. Two years and 141 days, probably a little bit less with the water, maybe. And as far as what Mechjeb tells us for our return, let's see. Basically two years and some days, I mean uh, 20 days, two years and 20 days. There's no avoiding that we're probably going to have to cycle out a bit, so it's going to be inefficient. It's not going to be 2,143, that's for sure. We have to wait one year and 115 days. And I'm gonna hang out here to make sure it recycles the water. Let's dump what waste we have, because if the waste is full, then it won't recycle the water. Now, just to see, I wonder if there's a transfer from Mars back to Earth that's a little bit more efficient, but... You know... Um, let's see, what's the case? Ca that's later. We don't want that. That's a longer travel time, that's probably... The insertion is too tight, let's... I don't know how to really tell it the kind of insertion I want. So, that's earlier. This would be even earlier. It's weird how there's a horrible patch here and then there's a nice patch here and a nice patch there. 
Hmm. But you see, I just want to lose capture around Earth, and but what this sort of indicates is not a lose capture. It's thinking of a two hundred thousand by two hundred thousand kilometer orbit. It's just like a circular orbit at this level, which would not be good. So it's not really thinking about that properly. But regardless of what Prince Window Planner says or what Megjeb says, I have. No reason to believe any of this is actually the best transfer back. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in the midst of them is a good transfer, but they're not. Uh, the, the, the going there part is fine. It's the part where we have to capture over at the other end that I don't have any faith that they're doing right. This is also going to take more than 2,000 because we're going to have to do multiple burns to get out of here. No, we are within that first zone. I don't know how the water recycling works. Suddenly we have a surplus of water. Before it was actually less than the food and oxygen, but now we have a surplus of water, even though we have wastewater there. Even with being able to do the ion engine burns in time warp, still takes a lot of patience to do this. It's not like spiraling out. Spiraling out you can just leave it and not pay attention to it. But if you're doing all the burns at Periopsis, which NASA could, uh, the KSP players don't generally have the patience for, it takes concentration. Okay, well, let me make sure that this burning has actually had a positive effect on things. So we're looking to see whether this now takes less than... 2,000. Indeed, we are now less than 2,000. Good, so I can continue doing this. 1,362 left. I, I guess I can still... I mean, it doesn't matter whether I plot it or not. I'm not really paying attention to the node anyway. The longer the orbit is, the fewer burns we can do, right? And the uh, shorter those burns will actually be, because this gets faster and faster over here. On the bright side, it has more of an influence on our orbit, but delta V-wise, it's not that much. Well, we're beyond Deimos orbit on the apoapsis. Okay, let's see. Reset. 943 left. But that's not how much it would be till escape. Let me just see how much it is till escape. Because after escape, we can't, can't keep going around. So it's only 127 to escape. So I can't do any more right now. Really 112. We're gonna have to wait. So now, yeah, we'll just plot it. One year, 42 days. Well, that's within our supplies. Okay, minimal capture, 1800. I, I feel like we can do better than that. Let me see if I can plot something that will get us over there slower. We know one solution already had us getting there, but probably we have to wait until our periapsis would be at that ascending node. I'd rather do a simple burn here and then move the inclination a bit. Because out here, you don't have to do the burns very quickly. Oh, there's an encounter. Hmm. So we're talking about 512, 821, and then an encounter there. And I'm thinking this is going to be better than what Megjeb said. 
Now MegJab went for a 900 meter per second one, but just a single one without a mid-course correction. That's one of the faults of both MegJab and Transfer Window Planner is they just won't do the mid-course corrections. So. so this we get there in 326 days. 742. See? So much better than MegJab. But we're, we're spending some more... We're spending some more at the mid-course correction. Altogether, we're spending about 400 more than MechJab was planning. But then we cut out like a thousand meters per second when we get there. And that has to be a timely burn. We don't have a lot of time for that one. So this is a much better deal. Um, so we do this in 27 days. Let me save just in case it's lying to me. <laughs> I don't think I need to worry about the life support anymore. Very dramatic. Okay, let's see. I don't know if this will be the one that we go out on or whether I have to replot for the next orbit. Uh, we are turning it on. I think I'll go for one more orbit. So all these plots. I might regret this, but let's just go with it. Let me replot it. Seven day wait here. That's still very nice on the Delta V to capture. That's more critical because of the burn time than because of the need for Delta V. We've got plenty of Delta V, it's just that we don't have a lot of time to do the burn, so we need that burn to be small. Final pass. There we go. Too bad the plumes don't persist. We are already on escape, according to that apple apsis in the corner there. Yep. So good timing. As usual, it takes more than planned. Uh, if we're gonna do 400, let's just plot it out further. Okay. I mean, our burn time is only one day and eight hours. We should be able to get this seven, uh, this 800 done on time, right? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even start right now, but uh, the earlier the better on this one, I think. Our RCS propellant is very limited, so that's why I'm very careful about my turns. It's the MMHM on 3. That looks inside Earth's orbit already. Earth's orbit is 146, I think. I want some inclination. Well, that's a little bit more than I was reading before, but it's still okay. Okay, we can depart. No more burns around Mars. Off we go. All right, make course correction. Let's make sure nothing weird is happening with the resources. So far we've got plenty. We are arriving in 295 days, so we don't even need the water recycler at this point. Okay. On we go. This hab is currently 53 tons, by the way. Considering the xenon gas is not that heavy because it's got great ISP. Um, we're not skimping too much on things. Well, that inclination's as good as the inclination I was looking for anyway. That'll do. Okay, now how much to capture? Well, it's costing more to capture than it did before. Maybe if I plot looser. Eh, it still takes more than it did before, but not that much more. 1,000 meters per second. We're right now at 21 hours to do 3,500, so... 
call it about 10 hours to do 1,000. Right now, Earth Encounter is in 140 days, 3 hours, and Periopsis is in 142 and 7 hours. So, 2 days and 4 hours to Periapsis once we get in there. Alright, on we go. Alright, we have entered Earth SOI. We have a decent Periapsis. Let's see if we can really, really see Earth. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're coming in. Plenty of supplies left. Great, I was still late. <laughs> Whoa, it's bright. Why does it always end up this way? Okay, alright, alright. So, this is to lift us out of the radiation belts. And that should be good enough. We're not going to encounter the moon like that. And then after we do that, we will try and make it a little bit nicer for the rendezvous. And we have enough for that. Okay, let's just do that. So, with the concluding ion engine burns, I got the HAB ship into an orbit that was outside the radiation belts of Earth, but closer in so that a vessel would be able to rendezvous with it and bring the Kerbals back down to the surface. And that will probably be a Lynx, but for now I'm not doing that part. I just did this and we have enough supplies to allow for the time for the pod to bring them down. And we also have some spare Delta V here to make use of, as well as RCS propellant. Just a little bit of RCS propellant, but it will be enough. So. Basically, the mission was a success, though certain elements were a little bit tight, especially the ascent from the surface of Mars, and so I'll probably do some modifications on that. Probably I'll add some more RCS propellant to this HAB ship so that we aren't so tight on it. Uh, but maybe we don't need as many supplies, but it's probably a good idea to have those just in case we get a different kind of window. So, everything worked out though. Mars mission successful except of course i didn't launch them from the surface to rendezvous with it and i didn't bring them back down it's just this part but hopefully this was interesting enough with that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time